and following a rigorous assessment, I have formed the provisional view that the club has breached the NRL Code of Conduct through a serious failure to safeguard the health and welfare of its players. These failures have potentially put the well-being of players at risk and also exposed them to possible violations under our anti-doping code. The provisional findings suggest, amongst other things, that no adequate supervision or controls were in place at the club at the relevant time and that a number of players were injected with substances the precise nature of which to this day remain unknown. Accordingly, I have today issued a breach notice against the club which includes the proposed penalty of $1 million. With $400,000 suspended subject to the satisfaction of a number of conditions related to governance. I have also formed the provisional view that action should be taken with respect to the registrations of the head coach, Mr. Shane Flanagan, and the then head of strength and conditioning, Mr. Trent Elkin. In the case of the head coach, the provisional findings are to the effect that he failed to ensure a safe working environment and failed to take appropriate steps when he became aware that unsafe practices had been adopted. To the point, if the provisional findings are correct, these practices potentially put at risk the health and well-being of players. It is therefore proposed that the head coach's registration be suspended for a period of 12 months. It is also proposed that this suspension may be shortened to nine months if he successfully completes further training and demonstrates a proper awareness of his obligations as head coach. In relation to Mr Elkin, the provisional findings include that he failed to ensure changes to the club's supplement programme were approved by the club doctor. That he injected players without the proper, proper qualifications or training to do so. And that he misrepresented material facts in relation to the supplement programme.